I can't lie to you. I am very let down by the Baltimore Ravens today. And, and take it how you want, but it is what it is. I was really expecting a lot more from the Ravens today, especially uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Even I hope maybe for offensive linemen, but really for the defensive side of the ball, I was thinking, all right, hey, like – we definitely getting a pass rusher. Who is going to well, It's going to be Jadavian Clowney. Whether they're going to bring back Calais Campbell to reunite with the Baltimore Ravens to provide some interior help. Obviously, I wanted them to aim for the stars and go for Max Crosby, even Miles Garrett, something like that. Even Micah Parsons. But we knew that those were highly unlikely. But even still with the realistic options, even in Aziz Ojulari, even somebody like him who got six sacks this season so far. I was hoping that the Baltimore Ravens, they were going to make some significant moves, at least one significant move, because my whole thing approaching the trade deadline was like, all right, look, Ravens, don't just get a guy to say, all right, we got somebody. There you go. No, you need to do something of significance. So I guess the Baltimore Ravens took that literally and they were like, you know what? We either going to go big or we're not going to go at all. And I'm, I'm very disappointed. With them obviously still hoping for the best with the team hope that they can figure it out in-house because you got no choice now but I just I expected more of them and I know I talk with a lot of Ravens fans throughout today and a lot of Ravens fans say oh they, they made fun of the quote that Harbaugh done said before EDC done said before we like our guys we love our guys and, and I was telling Ravens fans all throughout today like look that's cool yeah they said that before, but don't don't buy that Ravens are going to make at least two moves today at least two so I expected it to be for maybe two defensive linemen like an edge rusher and an interior defensive lineman maybe an edge rusher in a corner I just really fit, felt like they were definitely going to get an edge rusher because their pass rush has been abysmal it's been all kinds of bad for the majority of the season early on this season it was good but then it quickly went south very very fast and I just don't know what happened to it. So, and then I figure, you know what? Like, especially, they, they really probably going to try to go for an interior defensive lineman with Travis Jones still dealing with his injury. Um, they going to need somebody who can help right away. And that can be quality depth. Because think about whatever player that they will get for the interior of the defensive line, that could help right away. And then Travis Jones, he could get healthy, and he could help when he's back. And then Michael Pierce, if he comes off an of injury reserve, he can help when he's back. And so I was thinking about all these possibilities and stuff, but Raven said, nope, we ain't doing it. And it was a very, very, very big letdown. Now, they did get Tredavious White. They traded for Rams cornerback Tredavious White, former Buffalo Bills cornerback. He was like that over in Buffalo, but then, unfortunately, injuries, uh, they got the best of them, and that really changed everything. I remember when Buffalo first let him go. I remember being surprised, but I'm like, man, it's a tough business, man, and injuries, they'll do that to you. So the Rams gave him an opportunity, and it just it ain't been working out over there. And I believe for the last one, two, three, four games, he's been a healthy scratch. And that's who the Baltimore Ravens traded for. Now, obviously, we hope it works out. Uh, what player, what kind of player are we getting, though, with Tredavious White? Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you would think that this would be just really a depth move. And, yeah, he was one of the, he used to be one of the better corners in the NFL, and you hope that he can have a resurgence of his career. Do we expect him to start? Obviously not over Marlon Humphrey. Obviously not over Nate Wiggins. Would he start over Brandon Stevens? I don't even think that they would. I don't. I, I, don't th I think that this was strictly a depth move. Now, for his roster spot, for him to get a roster spot, they uh, released Chris Collier, uh, who was our starting kick returner. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Baltimore Ravens do there. Uh, could they let him clear waivers and then sign him back to the practice squad and then elevate him for the game on Thursday night? We'll see, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do at kick return. But for Tr Tredavious White, let's just look at the compensation. Um, so the Rams, they send Tredavious White to the Ravens in a 2027th seventh round pick. And the Ravens, they send over a 2026th seventh round pick. So you basically got him for an exchange of seventh round picks Ravens give up theirs for 2026 and Rams give give up theirs for 2027 so basically I don't want to say wash picks because you never know what a seventh round pick could turn into but basically for nothing it's just basically a, a, a nothing a swap they were really trying to get rid of Tredavious White and there was even talk uh, amongst the Rams before before today that he could have possibly been released because it just was not working out with him uh with the Rams um but 
obviously the Ravens are like, uh, you know what, we'll take a shot on him. But what about the, uh, how much is he going to get paid? So this came from Brian McFarlane said, Tredavis White has a $750,000 in salary and a $470,000 in per game roster bonuses left on his one year deal. So unless the Rams ate some salary, his cap number for the remainder of the season will be 1.2 mil, assuming he plays in each of the final games. So, um, yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, so yeah, he's not making much money. It doesn't have big salary cap implications or anything like that. Um, but it was, <clears throat> I, I don't understand like what this is doing it, 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 and what, what makes this even worse. Well, not, I can't say even worse, but what makes it hurt even more? I guess it does make it even worse. It was said that the Ravens were interested in Marshawn Lattimore, that they were actually in the mix for Marshawn Lattimore from the Saints. Now, that would have been a move. I would have been like, okay, here we go. Because, like, obviously teams have been going at Brandon Stevens like crazy. We know, we all know that Brandon Stevens is super sticky in coverage. He's right there all the time, but just has struggled to make a play on the ball. Um, so it's just like, I was thinking, like, man. And, and it only lasted like 10 minutes because right when they said the Ravens were interested in Marshawn Lattimore, like 10 minutes later, they're like, oh, the commanders got him. But before the commanders traded for him, I was thinking, oh, man, if we got a Marshawn Lattimore... Like, like, who, who do you try to pick on then? Because Marlon Humphrey, he been doing his thing. You got Nate Wiggins. Maybe you could go at him. But then you would have Marshawn Lattimore on the other side. And, and, and then you would have the at safety. You could move Brandon Stevens back to safety. You could have Kyle Hamilton still doing his thing. Marcus Williams doing his thing. You could have Ardarius Washington. You could move him around. Brandon Stevens, you could move him around. And I was like, oh, man, I was thinking of all the possibilities. But that came and went like that because Marshawn Lattimore uh, went to he went down the street about an hour away but he did not go to the Baltimore Ravens but then what made today even worse for me and I'm sure for a lot of y'all too Adam Schefter uh, he was talking to uh, Dan Ovlosky, uh in a group of them I forget which show it's on but Adam Schefter was on it was on ESPN and they were like uh, they were talking about oh the Ravens traded for Tredavious White da -da -da -da. okay cool and then Dan Ovlosky asked him straight up Okay, so that's cool, but are they trying to get a pass rusher? Are they in the market for a pass rusher? Are the Baltimore Ravens trying to get an edge rusher? Because that's been their biggest problem. They cannot get to quarterbacks. Their pass rush has been all kinds of bad. He ain't say all of that now, but he pretty much did. Adam Schefter said no. They ain't even looking. They ain't even trying. They ain't even going for it. And I was thinking, wow. And even like what Adam Schefter said, it, it, it doesn't necessarily even, it, well, it does matter. But if they would have tried and failed, I mean, hey, nothing happened, obviously. They ain't get nobody. So whether they tried or not, nothing happened. But it's, it's just frustrating, man. It's frustrating because you look at this team, you look at this team this year, and, and you just see the potential. And they're just... They're a couple of plays away and a couple of players away. Now, of course, now their, their team now is set in stone for the rest of the year. Obviously, there could be some injuries that happen. There could be some guys that get released. Like there was a safety from the Bills that requested his release today, and they're going to grant it to him. But So there, there's some players that could get released that the Ravens could be like, oh, hey, come to the Ravens. Da, 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 da. But their roster is pretty much set now because – they ain't make they could do a little thing here there as far as picking up somebody practice squad da, 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 da. but their roster for the most part is pretty much set but when you look at their losses their loss to the Kansas City Chiefs their loss to the Raiders their loss to the Browns my goodness Ravens but anyway when you look at their losses you can see that they're they're not getting blown out they ain't getting dog walked by nobody they ain't getting whooped up on by none of these teams they just a couple plays away and a couple of players away from being even better than they already are right now. And that's why I figure like, all right, Ravens, like, look, we ain't asking for the world. I mean, if you want to get the world to us, no problem. But we ain't asking for the world. We just want y'all to address what the biggest issue is right here, right now. And that's obviously pass rush. Pass rush in the secondary because defense has been a big problem. You can't get to no quarterbacks. You've been trying to blitz. You've been trying to bring pressure in so many different ways. It ain't been working. What do the Ravens do? Tredavious White. There you go. Okay. Okay. So we just got to hope that it ends up that they get it from their guys. 
Now we ain't here to bash the Ravens. Say, oh, they're a terrible organization. Da -da 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 -da. But we just wanted better. We wanted more for the Baltimore Ravens. We wanted more for Lamar Jackson, more for Derrick Henry, more for these guys that are showing like, hey, we out here, we really trying. And not to say that the rest of the team is not trying because we know that they are. But we just wanted more from the Baltimore Ravens, especially when you look at a team, look at teams like the Kansas City Chiefs. And I know a lot of Ravens fans don't like hearing that because, oh, the Chiefs, oh, they be tired of them. And I know Ravens fans can't stand the Chiefs because all they do is win. That's it. They just win over and over and over. And, yeah, there'll be some questionable calls and some okie dokes here and there. Like, them not getting called for the false starts. But that's been going on all season. And it's still frustrating. But it's like you look at teams like that. They were undefeated. They still went and got DeAndre Hopkins. They still went and got Josh Uche. They still, they, they tried to trade for Cooper Cup before they even got DeAndre Hopkins. They were even th trying to trade for Marshawn Lattimore today. But then they end up getting out of it and they was like, okay, no, never mind. We're done. But a team like that, you, you, you look at them and you see they were undefeated and they were still making moves and they were still trying to make even more moves. They were undefeated, hadn't lost a single game and were still looking for ways to get better. They coming off of two straight Super Bowls and they still looking for ways to get better. We're not coming. We're coming off an AFC championship game. And our secondary right now has been an issue. Our pass rush has been an even bigger issue. Offensive line been an issue, but not as big of an issue as those previous two. And what do we do? We go trade for a cornerback that's been a healthy scratch. It was disappointing. Now, again, I ain't here to knock Tredavious White. He's in the NFL. I'm not. So he obviously got what it takes and more to be in the league. And we definitely, we hope it works out. But we just... We thought that the Ravens would do more. So now we got to my favorite part of these videos where we get to feature your questions. Let's just get straight into it. First question came from my guy Christian, who is a Team Keep It Clean patron. I appreciate you. He said, uh, Aang Raven, hope you and the fam been doing fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we, we doing good. Outside all this Raven stuff, oh, we, we doing amazing. These Ravens just, they, they really let me down today. Um, but anyway, he said, uh, this is my first time sending a question, so I hope this is the right place. Yeah, you got it, my friend. He said, a few questions I've been thinking about as of late, and I wanted to get your thoughts on it. I know it's only week 10, but besides the Chiefs, what team would you want to see the Ravens play in the playoffs? Whoever, whoever, because you, you, can, you can't run from nobody in the playoffs. Like, really, whoever, line it up. Ravens got to bring their best. That team is going to bring their best. Like, whoever, because as long as the Ravens make it, then we'll be straight, man. He said, uh, not for an easier path because playoffs is playoffs, but just entertainment purposes. Like me personally, I would want to see the Chargers because it'd be a rematch uh, of the Hotball Bowl. So it'd be cool to see how that goes. Well, yeah, if, that, if that's the case, yeah, just, just the Chiefs. The Chiefs. That's the team, man. The Chiefs. AFC Championship game at their house. Let's ruin the fun for them this time. Uh, he said, if, and hopefully it doesn't happen, but if this Ravens team falls short yet again, and doesn't even make the Super Bowl, do you think Harbaugh is gone or do you think him and EDC are just that tight? You answer the question with that last sentence that you wrote. So, yeah. He said, thank you so much for the question. Stay safe. Team, keep it clean. No matter what you may go through, we always got each other. I appreciate you. He said, also, fun fact, every time Lamar Jackson has lost to the Browns, he went the rest of the regular season undefeated. And he said, could we go 14 and 3? Like, look, Lamar, if you want to go on a tear, Ravens, if y'all want to go on a tear, y'all should. Y'all really should. And start with the Bengals this Thursday night. Pass rush. Next question came from my guy, Stefan. He said, what's good, fam? I got a quick question for you. I don't know if you noticed, but when I watch our squad, I see the pass rushers just bull rush. I don't see no hand movements at all. And I think that's one of our problems, why we can't get to the quarterback. Tell me what you think. Hope the fam is doing well. And tell Mr. EDC, a.k.a. Every Dollar Counts, to go get Micah Parsons. Appreciate you, fam. Well, we saw how that went. But anyway, um, no, I'll be seeing him try to hit a little spin moves here and there like a doll fair away. He'll do both. Like uh, even Kyle Vinoy, he'll do both, too. So they, they be trying, but it obviously just don't be working. Jordans, next question came from my guy Anthony. He said, what's up, team? Keep it clean. I do not think the Ravens will make a move on defense at the trade deadline after they show some improvements against the Broncos. Get ready for, we love our guys from John, but if we were to make the trade, what do you think, what do you guys think about Cam Jordan? He's, well, that's that. I mean, he ain't got no sack in a long time, but he said he's a veteran proven track record. He can show up the D-line. You know our Ravens love older players. I see them going after Cam Jordan before Michael Parsons. Well, they end up going after nobody. He said, thanks, and I hope all is well with you and the family and like marcus williams getting mossed by a rookie qb i'm out now something that you said uh, he said i do not think the ravens will make a move on defense at the trade deadline i mean you were pretty much right um but he said after they showed some improvement against the broncos now context is everything yeah they technically did show improvement against the broncos but you were also going against a rookie quarterback 
you ain't going to be playing too many rookies for the rest of the season. I mean, are you even playing any? I don't believe so, but I would have to double check because we got the Steelers twice. We got the Eagles. We got the Giants. We got the Bengals. Um, and I forgot who else we play. I know I'm missing somebody. But, um, yeah. Oh, we got to play the Browns again. Uh, so, yeah, you, I don't think you got any rookies on, on the schedule left. But I, I got to double check to see whatever game that I'm missing. Oh, and the Texans, too. You got the Texans. Oh, and the Chargers. I think that's everybody. I'm pretty sure that's everybody. So you ain't got no rookie quarterback. So you're going up against guys that know the game more. They got more experience. And they're going to try you. So with that being said, we, we will take any improvement that we can possibly get. You know that. But let's see how they do on Thursday night. Then we'll talk about it, more improvement. Planet of the Apes. Next question came from my guy, Mark JG. He said, what's up, Engraving? Hope all is well with you. Oh, I've been sorting some things out in life, and I just want to have some fun. Let's have a fun question. All right, here we go. He said, what if you trade for Kyle Pitts? Okay, well, I guess this is a fun question because the way the trade deadline went, it was not fun. Uh, he said, you can have two gorillas on the field, but use Kyle more as a wide receiver and likely as a tight end. Two big bodies just running all over the field, and he would eat in, in, at, a, at wide receiver time, not tight end. Who's going to stop that? Arthur Blank. Speaking of the Falcons, a sneaky top-tier move would be to snatch A.J. Terrell. It would cost a lot, but it would be sick to see him in purple. That would have been fun. And maybe if we want some trades to be done, we got to hit up Madden. He said, when you read this, hopefully we make at least one to two moves. Well, we made one, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if we like our guys. See? Uh, Ravens fans knew I really think EDC is working the phones uh, It's just if he can hit the deadline I can see a Khalil Mack trade It would be the Ravens MO plus he still got it Clowney or Smith would be cool But I want that guy I'm not trying to sound delusional I really do think we are going to go big or go home I just don't want to see a video where you said we went home <laughs> There you go Ho Hope you're not watching this one Even though I know you're going to come through But man there you go um, he said, I still, oh, he said, I still watch you already know. Appreciate you, man. Peace, love, blessings. And as always, you're a great person and you're all a great people. Uh, challenges will come, but God will show you your light. And gravy much appreciated. And I'm out like Crosby should be to Baltimore. Well, yeah. Today is the day. Next question came from my boy, Chef Boy RT. He said, what's up, Engraving? As always, hope you and your family are well. Today is the biggest day in America. The trade deadline is today. I have high hopes, but to be honest, I'm a little worried. Not because I don't think the Ravens will make another move, but who they make a move for is what has me worried. You, there you go um, He said safety to me is third on the list And I'm not anticipating or wishing for a move there Because I think Ardarius is the answer Well they didn't trade for a safety Cornerback and edge rushers are the two priorities But I don't want the Ravens to trade for a player like James Bradbury Or go sign Xavier Howard off the street Just to say they made a move Get a difference maker Well there you go uh, I've seen the reports about the Ravens could be looking at J.C. Horn Which would be amazing in my opinion I don't see Marshawn Lattimore happening But I would love to be wrong in ED And hope EDC pulls off the unexpected I was hoping for the same thing, my friend, but you, you saw how that went. The worrying is with edge rushers and defensive linemen if we trade for one. I want Max Crosby like we all do. I mentioned him on Instagram yesterday telling him to come to Baltimore, and he viewed it, so let's hope he demanded that trade. Crosby, Parsons, Ojolari, even Khalil Mack are players I would be happy with. But in reality, we're probably looking at 38-year-old Calais Campbell, Justin Houston off the couch, and somehow Tyus Bowser again. They ain't even get that. Uh, he said, who do you realistically see the Ravens trading for today and who gets dealt in these moves? Well, I, I realistically saw them going for somebody like a Calais Campbell uh, or Jadavian Clowney, but yeah. Bill Belichick is right about the Ravens. Next question came from my guy Andrew. He said, Angry Raven, hope all is well with you and the family. I have had time to simmer down after the Browns game. The Broncos win did help. Oh, it certainly did. He said, but with all the euphoria I was feeling, I instantly came back to reality. I was watching the Ryan Ripken uh, playing a comment from the Pat McAfee show where Bill Belichick said the Ravens are their own worst enemy and that they beat themselves up more than any other team. And this had me thinking, with our bye week in week 14, it may be a bit of a bumpy ride before we can look for long-term solutions schematically. However, my question to you and the flock is, what small changes do you see to address the fundamental mistakes that are costing us now mm. um i would say uh situational play calling um just having the corners not play so far off um on those third and shorts uh because we see that a lot and they will give up easy catches uh i would say making the defense stop trying to do all these disguises and just get the defense the, the base defense get that in order first and then once the team shows you like okay we could do the base defense a lot better then you could start switching it up start adding the disguises and whatnot but you you, you got to work on the uh the, the fundamental stuff first so once y'all get the fundamentals down then okay then you start adding in all the little wrinkles here and there uh, but that's what I would do. Uh, he said, P.S., hoping someone from the Ravens coaching staff is watching because even though I have Jamal Chase on my fantasy team, I don't want to see another near 200-yard game because of blown coverage. Wishing you all the best and like the Ravens with consistent fourth-quarter defense, I'm out.
<laughs> Next question came from my guy Devin, who is a team keeping clean patron, so I appreciate it. He said it's 128 p.m. This was obviously then. He said we still haven't made a move on defense. Steelers just got Mike Williams, so we really need some type of game changer on defense. We got about two and a half more hours. Hopefully something changes before you make this video. And yeah, well, something did change. We got Tre'Davious White, but now Steelers they not only added Mike Williams, they added Preston Smith too. So they added a solid wide receiver. They added a good pass rusher. But hold up. Don't they already got T.J. Watt? But hold up! Don't they already got Alex Highsmith? But hold up! Don't they still got Cam Hayward? Don't they got Patrick Queen? Steelers got all these pass rushers, and they still added another one. Next question came from my guy Zega, who is also a team keeping clean patient. Appreciate you, my guy. Uh, he said it was 1230 and ADC is quiet as a church mouse. Hope he not settling for this defense. If he settles on this defense, Lamar Jackson, the offense, and Kyle Hamilton are going to have to do it all. But we still got three and a half hours left. Let's see what happens. And we saw what happened. Next question came from my guy Jarvo. He said it was two minutes before the trade deadline, and I'm at peace if we don't make another move. First thing is, shout out to Brandon Williams for his retirement today. Uh, oh, yeah, Brandon Williams did retire today with the Ravens. Um, he did the Marshall Yonder to where when they playing, they big, but when they stop playing, they get skinny. It was seeing him said, whoa, but good for him. Uh, he said, I like the Tredavious White move because we need help in the secondary as well. He was a healthy scratch, and we got him for free. It takes two to tango, and the asking price for an immediate impact player is too much, especially with our cap and re-signing players this offseason. I disagree because it's an immediate impact player. You got to pay. If you want to get somebody that's going to make an immediate impact, you cannot be cheap. You got to be willing to pay. Sometimes you even got to be willing to overpay. But if you're going to get somebody that's going to make an uh, impact right here, right now, you can't be like, oh, you know what? I don't think I want to spend that. No, you got to be willing to. But anyway, continuing, he says, saw the Steelers get Preston Smith for cheap, but players like Cam Jordan, Chase Young, and other game records would have cost us a lot. Game records. Chase Young? Uh, anyway, he said, in my opinion, we should play our young rushers more like a job on Tavius Robinson and, T and Trent Simpson, who has that speed, and maybe get that pressure on the quarterback. Maybe we sign a player who is released. It's time to go. It's time. It's go time with what we have, and hopefully the defense makes a statement this Thursday. Like EDC told other GMs before he hung up the phone and asked about his picks. I'm out. And he said he also forgot to mention, but maybe we get Crosby next year because he's definitely going to ask out of the Raiders if they underperform again. Yeah, the, the Raiders are done, so. But I, I, after this year, I can't count on him getting a Max Crosby. Next question came from my guy, Keontae, who is also a team keeper clean patron, so I appreciate you. He said, we didn't need your Davis White. I wanted him in free agency, but not to trade uh, Cam Hayward, Chase Young, someone in EDC. I still trust him, but, man, this was lackluster. Matt BK needs some help. So as far as him getting help, we just got to hope that Travis Jones ends up getting healthy.